Weird Science is the revolution. The Amazing Spider-Man number 50, Legacy number 944. I'm saying that because I will bring that up as we go when they give editors notes that kind of drive me nuts. I don't know if everybody else thinks the same, but it kind of drove me nuts. But we end up having this number 50 issue written by Zeb Wells, Ed McGinnis on pencils, inks by Mark Farmer. Colors by Marcelo Menez and Eric Arcinega and VC Joe Carmagna on letters. We're going to be dealing with the main story, which is oversized. It's the Zebwell story that they were pushing about Spider Goblin. We'll get there a little convoluted way, but mm -hmm. still not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's actually better than a lot of the stuff Zeb Wells has done. It's just going to come down to the idea if you want to see Spider Goblin, even when we saw that six months ago. And they'll have tiebacks and callbacks of that in the story. Which I thought was a bit of a misplay. When yeah, it was kind of weird. Craven's yeah. like, I gotta find my spear that actually gave the goblin sins to Peter before, but then had Norman and this. Oh no, it's not there. We already know this. We already saw Norman affected by the sins. We were just waiting for them to take over. This is where it happens in kind of an abrupt way, a weird way. But we start out in the living brain facility of Oscorp in the sub basement clean room. We already had those yuck yucks that were on the phone, weren't <laughs> supposed to be. Nobody wants to admit it was their fault. Norman seems to realize it probably was, but these guys should be fired. Norman kind of says, I'm going to fire them. These guys should have been fired before in that old coot that came in. You can't use your phones. Yeah. That guy was right. So it's sending out that Living Brain is here. And again, if people know what the Living Brain is, not know what the Living Brain at this point, the Living Brain is doing nothing that is nefarious or bad just hanging out it's trying to hang out and send a message and yeah. at a point it's doing that and then after the fact have to explain to you it's killing itself by doing that i'm like i i didn't get that part i just like it, it's using tools when it starts printing stuff out it, it's using its mind powers <laughs> to, to basically it's killing itself to type out a little bit of a dot wow. matrix thing that looks yeah, like, like a, a ticker tape, cookie. like an old school stock. Uh, That's what it thing. looks like. And they're, they're there. And it's like Peter Parker is nuts. But the big thing of this is, is that it's supposed to be Peter's upset because living brain knows his identity. It, it's down in the sub basement. So nobody can figure this out. And what I love about the idea is that at a point they are describing this. And am I the only one that they're describing it as if they are trying to convince us that this is great for the living brain? The living brain's having a ball. Oh, he's down the <laughs> sub basement. Nothing's happening. It's not harmful. He's doing this. I'm like, it's a living brain that isn't allowed to think. It, it's, <laughs> and when it does get to think, it's trying so hard that it's killing itself to write out a ticker tape little fortune cookie that says Peter Parker is not Spider Man. Like it, it, the idea that they're saying, I'm like, you guys are fooling yourself. You're trying to make it that you're not bad people, but you are. So while this is going on, <laughs> these two yuck yucks are freaking out. And really what it should be is like, I told you with that phone, jerk. The other one, I'm no, I'm screwed. I need this job. Hey, one of them is Dr. Kurt Connors. Yeah. The ticker <laughs> tape comes with Kurt and he reads it. And he's like, oh, my God, I love this. Is get me Peter Parker. Yeah. It's funny because it, when I when you look at it, it reminds me of back in the day. Remember, like the twenties, when somebody would read the, the the stock ticker and then they would jump jump out oh, the right window. out the window. It's like a <laughs> Simpsons deal. He's like, oh no, there there jump out. And there Al goes my money. And he's like, oh no, jumps out the window. In the meantime, Al Capone's dancing the Charleston on a flagpole. Whip, 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 exactly. All that stupid crap. Yeah. So you end up where it's like, oh my god, I love the idea that it says Peter Parker is not Spider Man. Oh, no, get Peter Parker. I know he works there, whatever. I love the idea that they think, oh, no, this machine just spit out that he's not Spider-Man. We better tell him that. Mm -hmm. I would say get Norman Osborn. It would be my guess. He's the well, boss. It says they're making a list of people that it's not. It's yeah, I love that they try to figure this out. <laughs> and I like that. Like, they start with Peter Parker. I, I want to, to have Kurt at one point. He's like, wait a minute. I just thought of this. That's a lot longer list than who really is Spider-Man. There's one person who's Spider-Man. There is 3.2 billion people who are Exactly. Are we going to have to sit here and Gotta wait? Got to start somewhere, I guess. I love that. They, and then I have to keep track. All of a sudden, it comes over. Matt Razor is not. So, okay, write that down. Matt Razor. <laughs> he isn't Spider-Man. Get Matt Razor. Like, all of a sudden, you have to go there now. They're gathering up people. But they're going to get a hold. And you're supposed to think that it's telling everybody that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Uh -huh. Saying the opposite. Then we go off where... I, I just, this, this cold open, which we already had a cold open. We go to Peter 
who now is having problems with a real estate guy who was taking sus real estate photos out on a window washing platform that Peter might have thought was a peeping Tom. And he (laughs) ends up going to do this. I'm like, I don't know, because what ends up happening? I'm like, I think that you might be the male version of Doc Ock's girlfriend, because that's what reminds me of right away. I thought that the art with that ended up reminding me of Janine or who I yeah, now I, I even messed up the name. I, I yeah. can't remember uh her name though. But you yeah, end up where it? that's yeah. being played out. Where then Peter gets a call from Norman. You have to miscommunicate things because he's there and then the big joke is Norman says, Don't rent in Chelsea bye. Again, now the next thing you know is what? And now this guy jumps out of the window. Yeah, when you're a billionaire. He gets yeah. the ticker tape. Oh no. <laughs> like it like is 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 that Zeb Wells like, oh, you got those Chelsea real estate guys. I'm like, let's yeah. get to it. So trying to get desperately trying to get a hold of them. And again, this is to tell them you need to come to Oscar because we have problems with the living brain. In the meantime, they're making jokes about, you know, real estate in Chelsea. Credit so, scores. Yeah, credit scores where Peter's credit score is bummed. And that's the funny <laughs> thing. Peter goes, my credit score is like an atomic crater. And I want Aunt May to walk by and like you think yours is bad jerk like we never really resolved the idea that she was flat broke had to live other place just nonsense but yeah and 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 then you end up where it's that miscommunication of you have spider-man's like hey uh what do you guys think you're talking uh uh, to there's a smoking crater i need this and like he's gonna punch him and then he says i need to tell kirk connors not to touch anything the guy says is that your mortgage guy i'm like just get out of the scene. Like, there's no <laughs> reason. He zips off. That's a cool-looking the, page there where he yeah, zips off. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I like the art. He goes yeah. then, and when you said the idea to me where Peter does at points, looks a little bit, like, plumper. Not yeah. to shame him. Here he does. Where uh, Well, and he, a couple pages down, he looks even now worse. Now, to me, it. at this point, now he becomes Peter Parker, fret dude. Where he's only does only, keggers. He only works on his neck. You know, that yeah, exercise yeah, to work on your neck. he's got some weird looks there. Right, so <laughs> they end up where he goes off, and they're like, "Oh my God, we had problems, and the living brain's activating. He's talking. He's like, how could he talk? We don't know, but we think it might be this, that, and the big thing is the analog signal carried a message, a query, really, and an odd one. Who is Spider Man? But never really say why or how this. It's just that that was, and then he answered the question of who isn't, and that's where the guys like, I think that he's telling us who isn't. Like, yeah. But that doesn't make <laughs> sense. Come on. And then all of a sudden, more things start sparking, flying, and another ticker tape deal, another message. But, of course, we don't get it right away. He grabs that to take it to Norman to get exactly where he needs to be to spell out this. We don't know what it's saying, but it ended up giving us words. Chalice, starlight, Peter, mm-hmm. don't. And then the – he. but what's happening? Norman's trying to stop him because there's one more word. Mm-hmm. It opens up the closet, and there you go, Gold Goblin, right? Yeah, no big deal, Gold Goblin, so. And he even says, you got me. You got I'm me. the Gold Goblin. I'm like, all right, you're joking now. And he goes, oh, no, there's one more word. This is big, though, when he does this and opens up. And it's the Goblin suit, which always freaks me out. It Doesn't it freak you out, that face? Yeah, this blank face? Yeah. Oh, the actual Goblin? So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like Eric's tattoo? Yeah, and it looks a lot like that <laughs> warped up deal. I hate the face without somebody in that mask. Yeah, no, the, it, 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 the, the mask is crazy without any of that. And uh, Norman flips out. Now he's reverted to Goblin. Yeah, real like just like a flick of the switch. He's, he's Goblin all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah, I remember he wanted Peter out. there to watch him, but now he's seen it and he activated it. Oh, my God, the Goblin stuff. And no, Norman, I trusted you. Well, you're not talking to Norman anymore, jerk. Norman's not here, and we're going to play that doesn't matter now in my mind again y- y- you're not going to get out of this and they will if they try but if you're going to make norman the goblin make him the goblin we understand this is this personality deal of him but it's still him but they're playing the idea of oh you know it's not norman is norman just going to be able to continue after this you know as he is i, yeah. I don't think so I, I but we'll see he he guesses peter who gets knocked out a bit and then ends up where he kind of now you don't have the spider sense you have all this he's tossing goblin grenades over his freaking you know back and talking about the idea that hey i gotta send everybody home priority one i need the place clear because he wants to go zipping through the you know the hallways uh, as the goblin 
to fight Spider-Man, and he's just being controlled by Goblin. Mm-hmm. And again, it, it I don't know why, to me, this doesn't feel as big as it should. It should be like something huge. And I, I just don't know the play of how it did. It just didn't get me that I much. I mean, it's the it return cool. of the Green Goblin after like a lot of years, like five years or maybe longer. When it was announced, we were going to get nobody cared. People rolled their eyes again because, it, it, again, you, you kind of get the idea they're not going to make it stick or they're not going to do this. But also, this is big enough. And I'm saying, say people go nuts about this. Why do you have to make Peter the Goblin? Too? Like, why do you have to add to it by the you end? You don't. You know. Yeah, because you have the Goblin and he's going around. I still think that for some reason I just didn't have, maybe my reaction is as we're talking, I know that Peter becomes the Goblin. They're just beating the crap out of each other. And, or at least the Goblin's beating the crap out of Peter, telling him, get your mask on, let's go, let's do this. You get some really cool pages, uh, really cool art of them battling each other. But then you start to get convoluted. Oh, man, what did you do? They start talking about Peter missing parts of his memory. That then seems to be the play of when you had the Goblin itself, but then also this whole Winkler device that, again, I don't even know what the hell it is still. Yeah, um, I like it. The idea where, oh, you were doing things and you did them, and I did this with Ashley Kafka, and you don't remember, but we did it, and we do have that thing where Ashley said, you, we put you on the machine, but didn't end up really saying it yet. But one of the things they bring up, the big play here of, oh, you want to see how nefarious we were? Remember that false date that they made with that? Like, that mm-hmm. was then, and it was because of this. I'm like, really? That's the big, that is the oomph moment of this whole Goblin story is you didn't remember making that date. Like, and then this is where it says, back in ASM 940. But again, we're in a run that's zero, you know, to 50. We're at 50th issue. That was just a couple issues ago. Four issues ago, right? Yeah, why? Yeah, four issues ago. Why are you using legacy I, number for people who are reading this run and would go back to this run? Yeah. I know that they want to make a bigger legacy deal, but this is only in this run a couple issues ago. I just, it just bothered well, me. Well, even you know? that, I mean, it was confusing because we didn't know what why he was dating her or Remember whatever. At, at the point where people were said, and I said, that makes sense because the idea that it seemed like it was Ben Riley messing with him because Ben Riley was there at the time. Yeah, but it, it, it didn't seem to me like it was being mind controlled so, or something. It but was, what, what I think happened, maybe, he made the date, then somehow got captured. The Winkler device was used where they implanted a code, but that something has to be wiped out. And they wiped out this date call. So <laughs> he actually did make the call, but he didn't remember it. That's what I'm saying. It's, that's how it worked to me. Is that big that he was upset no. and then this date? But it's just to kind of – this is the worst idea of trying to retroactively say, oh, remember that? Well, this happened as well because the big, it, just, it's, it just doesn't jive very well. But yeah. in that you have an implant of a thing, and even Norman kind of comes out of it. it, seems more of a dupe of, oh man, you know, I had, I didn't have a choice to allow the sins back in. You got them during that whole thing with Craven and Kafka, and I didn't want you to have them. That wasn't the case. Peter fought through it. The spear ended up getting buried, but unfortunately, the sins got out and got to Norman. It didn't seem like that was anything he was doing. It happened to him. And even this might be a dupe anyway, because he's like, oh, come here. And then he just attacks him again as the living brain is going completely insane <laughs> to then meld, mold, and grab to then becoming the walking brain. It's just, this just looks like the brainiac to me. Yeah, I don't it's know, just like DC. a brainiac yeah. robot. Like the, thing. the robot it's the version. The classic robot version of brainiac. Yeah. To make it this big thing of, oh no, now it's the walking brain. Yeah, he actually calls himself the walking brain. The walking brain. I'm no longer the I'm living brain. I'm not living brain. anymore. I'm just walking. I'm dude. the walking brain. I don't know. I don't want to call it out, but I think this is an ableism, letting that guy have legs. That brain didn't have legs. I just no. want to be a jerk about it. The, the idea of, like, that's a big thing. I'm now the walking brain. All right. So then we go and move on there, and you look, there's, you know, and, and probably with that name, Dr. Connors would clap. But he only got one arm, so we can't do that. So you end up where they're going through all this as Goblin's ripping through the town. He's grabbing Peter, and Peter mentioned, I hope you don't go back to my lab. Yeah. You know move. this is a dupe, because when you say that he just goes back and it's a trap, because he goes in, grabs the whole, you know, what's going to be in this priority version of, oh, though, there's the bug. 
Yeah. And he's trying to open it. He opens it and gets sprayed with a spray that eliminates all his powers. Yeah, because Peter was planning for it. Yeah, Peter everything was, was going planning on. to do that. And then... I knew you'd come to my lab. I knew you'd look at yeah, this. Yeah, because he tricked him into it. <laughs> the gas reverse engineered to take away your powers. Yeah, it's that easy, it's, huh? Is it just me? But in this, having you say the goblin has no powers, having not had the goblin for this long, and knowing that, I mean, even if you hate it, Norman did seem to be trying to get through this and try to be something better. Peter beats the living crap out of him. Oh, yeah. Like, the minute that he's depowered, he beats the crap out of him. Yeah, it's a double-page spread of punching the crap out of him. Is that where we're supposed to think that his thing is coming in? I don't know, because it, it's, it seems a little too much. Uh, but he says, I've seen all this before, Norman. Every one of your moves, you're so predictable that he seems to be getting more and more, and he is just destroying him. Yep. While the, the walking brain keeps saying, I'm the walking brain. And the idea, Peter Parker is not Spider-Man. Peter Parker is not Spider-Man. We got your message. No, no, no. That wasn't a message. I'm like, oh, no. What is he going to say? <laughs> this is so crazy with this idea where all of this comes down to where it seems as if where Peter thought he had a plan to get the go- goblin out of plan thinking this through. And in the meantime, you have the living brain say Peter Parker is not Spider-Man is a warning. So uh-huh. are are you now... Revealing that he indeed is But isn't now because a warning would be He usually is but now he's not Because he's, he's the a goblin, goblin now yeah. So is his identity revealed to a couple people I don't know Because in that I do like that all the uh, The wires and things End up making a pretty cool wavy hair For the walking brain <laughs> kind of cool. Because then the warning is And again the warning that the living brain comes up with That he knew all this stuff would happen That led to this which seems Random but says dr jekyll was heckled by peter's pride so he fed the boy to mr hyde oh no that's the trigger to me a very long trigger like if me and you are working a trigger you say that's a trigger i'm, I'm like no how about this goblin there it is. <laughs> peter parker is a goblin there that's even shorter he ends up freaking out now and he is the goblin in a panel where he's laughing which i swear to god is swiped right from the last time we had this exact thing when Peter became the goblin the first time. But in that one, it was a lot of in the dark, where his eyes were glad. Yeah, this one's and, nice and uh, bright and illuminated. And you see all that those crazy teeth and everything he's got going on. And and looks a lot like the but, Joker. But, so it, you know, but the yeah, it does. But so, so if the goblin lost his powers, then he's back to being Norman. So why would he still want to change I, over I spider-man it, i guess he's not back to norman he's back to just a goblin he's without just a powers. depowered goblin yeah he's still the goblin and now he's gonna screw peter All by right, doing I, I don't this know about that, but, okay. but it again to me if you want to keep saying what it, it feels like zoran r spider-man and yeah. then out of nowhere while all this was going on craven just decided it was time for him to dig up that grave with that spear which he kind of broke out of but it's still there and he goes and sees and he's like uh-oh the sins are no longer in the... We know this. Like It's Captain Obvious here as Craven. We already see this. We already saw it at the end. And he's like, oh, no, now he's in the thing. But that's where it ends. And Craven just, just doesn't bother with shirts at all, huh? He just... No. Nah, it, it, without that vest, he... You don't know yeah, where's the shirt. vest? <laughs> he puts that vest on, and then that's even too And this is just shirts. a stinking clone, isn't it? It's not even the real well, Craven, it's the, right? it's the clone son that is now Craven. Yeah. His so dad it's... had the contest and stuff, but that's yeah. how they kept keeping him going. I like the classic It's Craven. funny that they just don't call him Craven 2 or Craven 3. And, and I, I want the classic Green Goblin. I don't want Spider-Man as Goblin. Yeah. My score's going down on this. We have Spider Goblin. I, what's happening? I thought I was, I was actually pretty positive about this I mean, stuff it's okay. I think the Ed McGinnis it. art is cool, and I don't know. It's just... Yeah, it's just like, again, it feels like an issue that you have what you want to get to, but you can't figure out a great way to do it, but this is not This is supposed to be big. And it feels just weird and is the this way the that same, it happened. Is this the same living brain? It's got to be that used to follow around the superior Spider-Man and I do guess, all that stuff. Yeah. It's Dan I, Slott yeah. stuff. Yeah, now it's the walking brain. Yeah. So weird. I liked it better when we would crack jokes and say funny stuff. This yeah. is just weird. I don't know. Well, now they're going to say, like, what are you doing? I'm walking here. That's all he's going <laughs> to say. Like, everything's going to be like, well, who's your favorite actor? J.J. Walker? Like, that's all it would be. Walker, Texas Ranger. Yeah. Everything with walking in it is what his favorite <laughs> thing is. I, I wish I had a walk, man. I am a walk, man. That's what he'll say. 
Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but again, that's a big thing to get the walking brain. I mean, it's just Brainiac, so I don't know. Mm. Crack him wise. But again, maybe he'll be able to figure out how to stay. I, I don't need the living brain walking to do that, but uh, what would you give this? Um, It's not going to hit that eight, eight at that coveted eight position. It's going to be a seven at 7.5 for me. I think I'm a 6.5. Oh, I, okay. I, wanted, I, I wanted it to be I thought it was better once we started talking about Again, this is just the main story. It's, it's pretty convoluted. I mean, it is. There's a lot going on. Weird science is the revolution.